Hi, it's Alaska Granny. With the supply chain interruptions and the difficulties in stores keeping things stocked, people stocking up on the prepping supplies that they need, is it possible that rationing could be ahead? That's a good reason to gather your news from a variety of sources so that you really can gather a complete outlook on what is going on in the world. Unless you're doing math, there is rarely one right answer. Life is just complex. Let's look at some of the things in the news and see what's going on. Here's some news from Alaska. Supply shortages in Alaska continue forcing retailers to stock up on goods and hope for the best. Kinks in the global supply chain during the COVID-19 pandemic continue to ripple to Alaska, causing widespread shortages and higher prices on a variety of products. The cost of shipping freight to the lower 48 from Asia or Europe is five times higher than it used to be. So see, this isn't just an Alaska problem. Freight to the lower 48 is four times higher. Retailers are saying you have to eat some of that, but you don't always have a choice, which means the price increase has to be passed on to consumers. Alaska, like the rest of the U.S., has seen remarkable price inflation in recent months, in part because of the global shipping problems. Facing higher freight costs, Anchorage store owners have no choice but to raise their prices in turn. This is supply chain inflation. The worry down the line is what if we have general inflation? We're not there yet, but when too much money is chasing too few goods, that's where price inflation happens. Remember when they were trying to get PPE at the beginning of the pandemic? Everyone in the world was chasing the same products and we kept seeing on the news that the prices were going up extraordinarily. Government needs plans for rationing food and basic essentials during pandemics and other crises. And this is news from a while ago. Here's from CNN Business. Panic buying is forcing supermarkets to ration food and other supplies. News from the Washington Post. Idaho allows rationing of medical care statewide amid surge in COVID. And from Reuters, Idaho activates health care rationing in northern parts of the state due to COVID-19. We know that there are supply chain interruptions. We know that they're talking about rationing. And if it's going to be about health care, you can bet it's going to continue into other products as well. So you need to take this as perhaps a prepper wake-up call that you need to stock up on the prepping supplies and the basic necessities that you need should they become rationed, they're unaffordable, or they're no longer available. Make sure that you have the food that you need. Stock up on rice, beans, split peas, canned food, canned meats, powdered milk, and don't forget your beverages like coffee, tea, and hot chocolate. Make sure that you have an ample supply of bottled water. It has been hard to come by lately. Fill up any empty containers that you have. You don't have to buy bottled water. You can clean out containers and then fill them yourself. As long as the water you're filling it with is safe to drink, it's safe to store. Then think about the fuel you need. If the gas tank in your car drops to one half, you need to fill it up. Think about the fuels like propane, butane, charcoal, so that you could heat your home or cook your food outdoors as needed. Then have batteries that go with the electronics and the emergency gear that you have like flashlights and radios. Make sure that you have candles, lanterns, solar chargers, lighters, and matches. Take an inventory of your first aid supplies. Make sure that you have those things you need, like a thermometer, cold medicines, stomach remedies, headache medicines. Check over your prescription medicines and make sure that you have enough to see you through if there is some sort of an emergency. We don't know what's coming, but we are certainly facing challenging times. And the better we prepare ourselves to face the future, the easier our days will be. And that's why we're preppers. We want to make sure that we have the things we need so we can provide the best days possible for ourselves and our family every single day of our life. 
If you enjoyed my video, I hope you'll share it with someone else you think might like it. Please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.